Next, I want to talk about how to use the filtering options, basically how to edit your hot item list here. Now, in, in a previous video, what I did is I searched through one of the categories in eBay.com. It was the uh, this category here. Let me just uh, remember which one it was here. It was the Apple Apple Macintosh computers in the computers in uh, networking category. So like this is a subcategory here, the 4599 category. And I searched through, I think, about 30 or 40 pages of complete listings. And I got uh, 71 items here with uh, lots of bids. You see the top item got 85 bids. Well, one thing you'd like to do is sometimes you'll get a massive list here, like tons and tons of items, especially if you selected a low number of bids here, like say if you only put 10 or maybe 5 or something like that, and you got a massive list that could be like thousands and thousands. Well, let's say you want to do some filtering with that. Basically, you want to get rid of some stuff that's not irrelevant. You'll, you'll quickly notice that sometimes eBay will return items that like are just kind of like weird. They're not really what you wanted to see. And that mostly will happen in the keyword search. I think I recall in, in a different video I recorded here in the help section, I, I searched for the keyword we, and I actually came up with a, with a video camera. Like that's kind of odd, but it's it's just the nature of the beast. That's what that's how eBay works. That's just what the eBay search engine returned to Hot Item Finder. So Hot Item Finder had nothing to do with that. It's it's all eBay that, that does that. And it could be just because someone put the word keyword we in their auction title that's probably not supposed to be there. And and of course it shows up in your hot items. Well, you know what? You're not looking for camcorders, you're looking for a Nintendo Wii, for example. But you know, you'd want to filter everything out. Well, of course, I don't have that hot item list here. I have a different list here to do with the Apple iPod. I think it'd actually make more sense if I did it with a Wii. So how about, you know, why don't we do that? I'll just go ahead and save this, just in case. Let's go over to here. I'm going to clear this list out. I'm going to generate a, a list Nintendo Wii. And like I said, I'm, you know, I'm going to do zero bids. And we're going to search, and we're going to get a big list here. Let's go ahead and just get a massive hot item list here see what happens now look there's 97 pages containing 200 listings per page so that's that's quite a bit I'll just go through and collect uh, there's, there's already 600 items here of course I select you know the minimum number of bids with zero so it's actually returning everything um, let's get a whole bunch here that's good enough click abort you know a thousand items search by bids so what we can do here is, you know, we've got a thousand items. And like I said before, there's going to be a lot of stuff here that, you know, is useless to me. Now let's say I'm only interested in Nintendo Wii, like nothing else. Like, um, I don't want a Nintendo DS. You can see here, a Nintendo DS. Yeah, I don't want that. The reason actually that was returned is because I selected search in title, in title and description. So somewhere in the description... There's probably the word we in here somewhere, and that's why it came up. I don't see it offhand, but for some reason the uh, eBay returned at this auction listing. No worries. We get rid of all that stuff by utilizing the filtering option here. So I'll just do that. We'll do that next here. Okay, um, let's go back like that. Okay, hit the filtering button here. When you click that, you'll see all this stuff. Don't worry, it's not that hard. I know it looks a little confusing, all this stuff all over the place here. I'll explain what it all means. So let's say we wanted to search just in the auction, or just in the titles here. And like I said, I just want stuff to deal with Nintendo Wii and nothing else. So what you can do is you can select, you have to select this little checkbox here to search in the title. And then you can select your uh, match type. We're just going to say any words or all words or exact match, whatever you'd like. Keyword sensitive, I'm not going to select that. And I just want we. That's it. And what you can do here is click execute. And it returned 815 items that have the word we in it. And let's say you kind of messed up, you know, you, you didn't want that. You can actually undo that search. Like say you, you stuck in we and you actually put Q there or something like that. You're like, oh, darn, I didn't, you know, I didn't mean to do that. Just click undo. And you got your list back, but I must warn you, you can only undo once. That's it. Now, if you want to, you know, don't get into that trouble where you can't undo again. 
go ahead and save your list before you do any filtering. And you know you have your original list all the time. Okay, another thing we can do, so remember I undid, so it's this origi the original list in here of data. Let's say I wanted only items that have the keyword we contained in, in there, but I only want to see items that are greater than 30 bids. So you have to select that, click execute, exactly what you get. Extremely fast. You can actually have like 60,000 items here. You click that button, it does it within seconds. It's really quick. In fact, it took me forever to design this, and it was a nightmare. But I finally got it to work really well, and I'm pretty proud of it, to be honest with you. You can do all sorts of stuff here. You can use price, the buy it now price. You can use the ship or the time. Say you want to only look at items that were within the last um, 15 minutes. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. It filtered everything out that was that was uh, 15 minutes or less there. That's basically how to use the search thing here. I think majority of the majority of everyone will be usually using the actual title and probably the bids. And if you like the price in, like I said, the time and ship. So let's go ahead. We can undo that again. Let's uh, close that. Another thing you can use is the find. Let's say you want to find a certain keyword, like console or something like that. And what this does is you go highlight, find all the ones that have, I'll highlight all the keywords that, all the auction listings that have the word console in the title. And you can go to each one. You can see that uh, it's, you can vaguely see there is like a little dotted line around the cell. It's just moving to the corresponding cell that has the word in it. You can match case if you'd like. Okay, we can close that here or we can just click the find button to close it. So that will conclude this video on how to use the filtering options. Actually, sorry, no, I'm not done yet here. Um, we can utilize the, this, this button here is to delete rows. Let's say you're not interested in having Let's say you don't want the items that have zero bids. You can do it manually as well by just uh, putting your mouse here. And so I just selected that cell with zero. I'm just go scroll right down to the bottom, hold down the shift key, select them all, click delete rows, and now all the zero bids are gone. You can do that with these as well if you'd like. That's just another way of deleting some items that that you may not want in your hot item list. Well, thanks for watching.